My name is Paul Bowman, I'm the High Performance Manager of the North Queensland Cowboys. As the High Performance Manager, I need to be aware of everything that goes into a player's physical performance. So that's what they're doing out on the field from a physical standpoint, as well as a mental standpoint, nutrition. It's important to know this information and analyse this data because every little aspect of a player's lives and everything that they're doing can have an impact on their performance. It's extremely important for the team that I manage the players to ensure that they're at their best each weekend. Players, every day they train, they fill out a wellness questionnaire. The data uh, that the players uh, enter ranges from sleep and sleep quality to fatigue, general soreness, and down to specific parts of the body, such as hamstring tightness, groin tightness, uh, knee soreness. The players enter a number between one and 10, with 10 meaning that they're 100% feel great, and the lower the number, the worse they're feeling. Players have a rolling average, which is basically their last 20 entries that they've made. And then for each player, we've established an upper and a lower limit. If they fall below the lower limit, they'll alert red. Typically, then there'll be further investigation. If they are above their upper limit, then they'll alert green, which is great, that's what we want. And we're looking at the team average at home games and at uh, away games. And you can see for season 2015, there's still you know, a significant difference between some variables there. Players' baseline scores are used regularly to set their uh, training load. We have a number of tests uh, to measure strength, both uh, upper body and, and lower body. So we want to chart their improvement to ensure that um, our training programs are actually working. All their GPS data is basically managed exactly the same. It's, it's put into this system and I also keep Excel spreadsheets with plenty of formulas there. Some examples that the GPS collects is total distance that the player performs out on the field, distances in different speed zones, so uh, different paces, so sprinting, uh, running, jogging, walking, accelerations and decelerations, players' heart rates are measured, so it's our job to analyse that data and sort through what is significant and what isn't. With the GPS data, there are obviously a number of variables that we measure. All of these variables have different units. We obviously have distance uh, with metres, we'll have max speeds and average speeds, kilometres per hour or, or metres per second. We'll have accelerations at metres per second squared. We have heart rate maximum and average heart rates, that's in uh, beats per minute. We obviously need to have knowledge of those different uh, units to be able to make calculations and uh, analyse that data. In preparation for this role, I studied uh, at James Cook University in sport and exercise science. I've also done a master's in um, sport and exercise science. I've also done strength and conditioning work through the Australian Strength and Conditioning Association. Probably only a year or two post my uh, playing career that I felt like I wanted to be involved in sport again. My experience at maths at secondary school was a very enjoyable experience. I had great maths teachers and I enjoyed the work. It was something that I had success in from a young age. As we got to choose subjects in, in the senior years, I basically the math sciences was the stream that I sort of chose to pursue. I think when you're good at something and you're enjoying it, then it makes sense to pursue it. Plenty of the skills that you learn in, in maths can be directly applied to just about every subject that you're doing, whether that's English or the other sciences. The North Queensland Cowboys have been a massive part of my life. Been here for 20 years and love the club. I love that you know, my education and that my background in maths and science is able to help the club and obviously achieve the ultimate goal of winning the grand final. In terms of sports science, I think there'll continue to be uh, changes, which is the nature of, of science and education, that people are always looking for better ways to do things and smarter ways to do things. Yeah, I continue to do uh, professional development and education. You know, you can always strive to improve. I think when you enjoy what you're doing, uh, chances of success are a lot greater.